before we start, um, I do want to um, send my condolences, and I spoke to him, to Bob Fitzgerald. It's, uh, it's kind of unfathomable to me to um, know what we'd like to lose your wife uh, and having three kids. So I've told Bob myself, but, you know, <clears throat> we don't, we consider ourselves a family and, and we lost a member of the family. So it's sad. And I saw, I think, Ann, you wrote something about it. Or to, I, it's, uh, let's pause sometimes in life. We're, I know we're going to do all the basketball and that's what we're here to do, but that stuff's hard. I'm sure you guys have had your own things happen to you, but I just wanted to mention that. So any questions about anything else is fine. Did it come with a raise? Did my <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of important, you know. Did it come with a raise? Uh, like ask my I'm boss. Right. You can ask any questions like that to my boss. Uh, are we what? Uh, my, my deal does cut. Yeah, we are not going to be able to sign anybody. We had to trade a few guys. Yeah, we had to get rid of some players. Steve talked yesterday about just meshing this group, and it's not going to, it's a really different than you guys starting as a finished product at the beginning of last season. It's not going to be that way. It's going to be a different adjustment for everybody. How do you sort of envision Steve managing that uh, early on? I think it's going to be hard. You know, I think uh, I've said this before. We, 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 we think we had a good off season, but there's no mythical reward. I mean, or, or if it is, it is mythical. We didn't win anything uh, by, by changing our roster. So I think the work that needs to be done will start Monday and will last hopefully for uh, the season and beyond and into the postseason. But I think when, when, when the expectation level is as high as it is, um, nothing will be good enough or, or most will not be good enough. So I think we'll have to understand that uh, patience will be a virtue we have to employ here, even if others aren't. We have to be cognizant of our own pathway and our own journey um, because th there will be quite a bit of scrutiny. But that's okay. If we do well, there'll be quite a bit of praise. But, but with that extra attention and uh, the time to develop that we'll need, I think it'll, it'll be some bumps in the road. I actually believe that. I'm, some people might think I'm just saying that. I actually believe it's going to be harder than people think. I think Raymond mentioned to me the Heat. I remember when the Heat built their team, I think they played in Boston their first game they lost. And I remember it was a huge deal. They, they were 0-1, and, and it was a big deal. Um, so. I don't know if we'll get the same type of attention, but there'll be more than, than we've had. And uh, with that, we'll, it'll be a little bit difficult, I think, in some ways. I'm confident he's in a much better place than, than this day last year, because he couldn't, he couldn't even coach in the preseason. And um, wasn't, you know, he came around when he could, but, but that possibility has been removed. And I see him every day and interact with him. He is in a better place. And hopefully he is in a perfect place at some point. I think he's working towards that. But I have no doubt that he's ready for camp and ready to go for the season. Uh, and last year, I think the people that, I know you, you weren't here, but he, he wasn't. You know, he just wasn't ready. And I don't know the people that, you, you could, I knew it because I saw him. Um, it wasn't really a possibility. And this year, you know, he's absolutely doing it. So that's a good improvement. Um, and he's, he is trending in the right direction. If he did have to miss any time, who do you expect to be the interim? Maybe Mike? or You know what? I don't even... Last year I would have thought that. I, that's the first time I've ever thought about it. I don't anticipate him having to, to, to uh, miss any time unless something changed. That's not really even thinking about it. What's the health of the situation? I know Damien's not going to be able to start camp. Is there other issues going there? Um... No, I think health-wise we're pretty good. I get the injury report email. It's always something, but nothing uh, that should hold anybody out of camp. You know, Kavon's working his way back. Um, you know, you never know with a lot of guys until you, you play five-on-five. Five. He hasn't played a lot of five-on-five, five, but he's been doing three-on-three three and things like that. Otherwise, the vets all seem good. Um, yeah, so health, health is actually a positive right now. What are, what are the realistic sure, yeah. expectations of Kavon? I don't know, Monty. Healthy. I just want him to be healthy. I mean, he's so young. These guys are so young, you have to project what you think they might be. I mean, we have essentially three rookies. you got Kavon, Damian Jones, and McCaw. The hope is that one or two of them can emerge in some kind of role. We, we did lose some depth in the offseason. There will be opportunity for young guys. For organizations to sustain themselves, you, you, you have to hope that some young guys can step up and 
especially when you're when you're in a in a position where you don't have a lot to spend uh, outside of your core group. So we hope some of those guys develop. A, I will tell you they work hard. I will tell you they're good kids. I can't promise what it'll be um, on the basketball court yet.